Hi guys, Christina from the Kaplan Center. Just wanted to make a quick video about that before and after of Black China that I posted in my story the other day. A super famous clinic from the UK does a lot of work out of the US posted that they had worked on her and now people are kind of upset about her before and afters. She really distorted her face, went way overboard, giving herself a really sharp jawline and chin and overdone cheeks. And it just doesn't look good. She was really beautiful before. And I am all for altering chins, jawlines, cheeks. I think it can make people look like a better version of themselves. But I think it just gets scary when we try to keep up with these trends of looking overdone and alien-like. I think it's especially dangerous for younger girls um, and everyone who is obsessed with Kylie Jenner because yes, she changed her appearance a lot but at the end of the day, she still looks natural. When you see her without makeup and without lashes, she still looks a little bit like her old self. Um, so I think it's really important for practitioners to not to try to keep up with this. We're making people the better versions of themselves. We're emphasizing what they have and trying to minimize aging. We're not trying to change who they are. We're not trying to alter their anatomy as a person. And I think it's important for patients to really vet your injectors, look at those before and afters. I'm no photographer, but I do my best to have all my patients at the same positions, show multiple angles, so patients have a realistic idea of what they're going to look like after. Some of these accounts have um, sort of the same angle, only from one side, different lighting in their before and afters, and that's always a telltale sign that they're trying to show you something. They're trying to sell you a fantasy and not necessarily what you're going to look like or if you would even like what you're going to look like afterwards. And I think it's important for patients and practitioners to be realistic. You know, there's only so much you can do. You're working with the patient's anatomy. I know plastic surgeon Dr. Lara Defgan does something called facial optimization. Um, RN Marisa Street also has an idea called facial harmonization. And these are kind of the same ideas of you're looking at the patient overall, you're spending a lot of time assessing them and giving them minimal changes that will overall improve their look. And I think that's the best approach. Overall. It's really not smart to try to keep up with trends. At the end of the day, this is your face. This is a medical procedure. This isn't makeup that you can wipe off, hair that you can alter. Um, trust your practitioner and go to someone who you know is going to make you look natural and beautiful.